All right, there, Banks. Want to come and help me release some fish in the pond? Huh? It'd be a lot of fun. Want to come help me? Go, oh, heck no. All right, so I got minnows. Bought at the pet bait shop. All right, I'm going to put it in a bucket here. I'm going to transfer it and put it in my pond. They actually uh, sell them to me at a cheaper rate because I'm using them to populate my pond, not using them as bait. I'm going to pump them in the pond and then uh, give them a couple weeks to spawn. And if the bluegill don't show up voluntarily like, I'll go trap some down in the creek down the road. So I'm at where they're going to be put in, which is my pond here. So I'm going to put some water in the bucket before I put that in there so I don't give them too much of a system shock. I'll be honest with you, I don't have a lot of time, and I do lose a few with this process. But uh, we'll see how successful this is. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some water out of the pond. About a half a bucket full. And the trick is not to end up in the pond. So I got about a half a bucket. And then I'll put this in here. And usually I'd wait about a half hour, let the water temperatures equal out. But uh, I really don't have that much time. So what I'm going to do is basically going to dump the fish in there with the water they're in into that one. And hopefully I don't kill too many with the system shock. So I'm kind of introducing the water a little at a time. And hopefully that'll work. Uh, before I just dump them straight in there. thing of it is they were just in like pure oxygen now they're just in water doesn't look too bad I don't see any of them floating and then once again when I put them in the regular water we'll see what happens So let's see what sort of angle I got here. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to adjust everything. Okay. There we go. So now, put my knife back up before I leave it in the ground. I'll leave it out here. Carefully come back down here. Try not to go swimming. And what I'll do is I'll just take in more water. There we go. And hopefully. See a bunch of pull to the top. Where I get them from, the water is really cold, so I think they're cl they're closer together. I usually do this later in the spring, then uh, the temperatures are too different. That looked like it worked out well. So. No floaties. They'll spawn in probably about two weeks. And if I don't notice any bluegill in the pond by then, because they might have died off during the winter, then I'll introduce some in. So, make me farms and prepping. Out here, just stocking my pond with good minnows, no carp, and uh, they'll actually be food for the bluegill that I put in there and maybe I can get some bass. The one thing that you have to be careful about 
is you don't get any wading birds in here. But I know the we get the giant blue heron flies in here every now and then and I need to chase them off because they can eat up a lot of fish real quick. Everybody have a wonderful day.